रियालिटी शो मास्टर शेफ इंडिया एंड वॉट बेटर दैन इंटरक्टिंग विद द मास्टर्स ऑफ दैट जॉनर प्लीज वेलकम शेफ रणवीर ब्रार chef pooja dhingra chef vikas khanna and a very very special guest chef marco pair welcome to pink villa all of you all thank you let's go yeah that's, good. that's oh. very good lied, lied about my age lied about my age 150 times <laughs> no a day 150 times a day <laughs> okay okay next you can try another one this yeah i'm here that was even better <laughs> <laughs> इंडियन This is maybe my fifth, sixth time I've been to India. Okay. And every time I come to India, I leave feeling guilty because India always gives me more than I give back to India, which I always feel wow. guilty when I leave. In England, we have lots of Indian restaurants. So therefore, from being a very young man, I've eaten Indian cuisine. I'm a big fan of Indian cuisine. We like Indian cuisine in England. So what is it that about Indian cuisine that you really love? I like the way they build their flavors those different layers their use of spice because in my opinion no country in the world uses spice like the indian chefs thank you sir amazing <laughs> thank you who's next marco you're next oh my god i want a bullseye cuz if i get a bullseye then i'd have to ask a question oh, oh. Okay. have you ever seen a ghost oh i don't know <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't know. Aren't they meant to be invisible? Yeah, probably because I think I've them. seen one twice okay. in my life and I'm being serious now. Okay. I think or I was very tired and it was an illusion. So it's either an illusion or it's a reality. Not sure. But that's a very good question. Yes. Thank you sir. Let's go. Who's next? Yeah. Oh. 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 oh broken something and walked a 100% oh, oh all the time all the time <laughs> that is it. that is the art you need to master break something and walk away without anybody else knowing but they know <laughs> but how many hearts have you broken oh that's the real question <laughs> and walked away and walked okay. away avoidant <laughs> if you had to describe each other's personality as a food flavor what would it be i, I she's like the brown butter why flavors like you know she understands that cooking a butter is changing its whole dimensions and i think that is what i consider her she's aged like a good when you age good butter then she's like one of those yeah. like salt he's always there with me but i realize it when he's not there oh that is sweet mm. so about sir um i think black pepper it is has to be in perfect balance what he's done for our cooking worlds he's brought a whole new dimension to cooking what india did to europe by giving them black pepper the entire cooking dimensions changed and it was also also the most prized spice in the world <laughs> is it really it used to be you know it was currency it was currency yeah it used to be the most expensive yeah. it's now saffron exactly. then vanilla and then cardamom cardamom but why 
Because cardamom, there's a big problem. Card Spikes. Yes. They attack you. Vicious. It's because I like it cardamom. grows on the soil, literally on the ground. Is it really? Yeah. The cardamom almost grows on the bottom of this fern like tree. And it's the ants eat it. Everything attacks it. And you can't use too much of exercise around it. Sounds bomb proof. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Who's first yeah. now? It's okay. green, isn't we'll it? Green. Again, do Green. There I, we I, are. I should just give up. Ooh, that was Ever good. use celeb status to get out of a situation? Can I? English me bol, Hindi bol. Kya you, you your celeb, celeb status, status? Hone ka hai situation that's, se a, bahar that's a terrible ke. question you've got to answer. You've got to say never. Always. You can't <laughs> say that. That makes you sound like a terrible person. Because, <laughs> because he's always in a situation. Oh, no. I'm always stuck in a situation. <laughs> What oh kind wow! Of Even now we were not getting coffee so fast. I just showed up with the chefs and I waved and they got the coffee. <laughs> right? Wow! Okay, okay. So Ranvi, now you'll have to describe them according to their personality. I think um, I'll start with uh, Vikas. Uh -huh. Vikas is like uh, he's like Shondesh. Oh. Huh? Yeah, it's like that Bengali sweet that uh, you think is not uh, sweet enough, but then it gets to you. So he gets to you like that. You know, you meet him first and then he's like sweet and then the sweetness gets to you and after a point, so that's him. He is the Shandesh. Pooja, I think, is uh, a good dry Chardonnay. It is what it is. What you see is what you get. Clean and clear. I think that's what um, Pooja is. Marco, no, that's a tough Ooh. one. I think Marco is, uh, he's used black pepper. Yeah. So I'm not, I can't use that anymore. But Marco is like, a, it's like a biryani, you know, the more you age it, the more it gets better. Yeah. It's like that, mm. you know, it just no, keeps getting better. Sometimes it also stains a t-shirt. It does. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It does. Uh, Pooja, hit the camera guy. Pooja. <laughs> Have you ever hit on a teacher? You did hit something, by the way. I hit something, but not a teacher. Not on a teacher. Not on a teacher. Not not on a teacher. teacher. Never? Never. Okay, Good your turn now to describe them. Oh, this is tough. Um, I would say Chef Ranveer is like a coconut. Okay. He looks really like he's hard on the outside, but actually he's a real softy on the inside. Oh, I thought it was brown on the I said, think he's white and No. <laughs> <laughs> no then that's... <laughs> okay. um, Chef Rikas would be saffron. Precious. Very precious. Yes. And expensive. Just expensive. Very high maintenance. Delicious. Sorry, pricey. High <laughs> people, uh, don't, people don't realize <clears throat> how else. hard it is to pollinate saffron. It has to <clears throat> it has to water at the same time. It has to have the same insects. It's very difficult. Really? Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's self-love. Okay. 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 You know, like uh, earlier it was no, it was bad to be self-obsessed. Yeah. Now you call it self-love. You said something about aging. So I think it'd be like fine wine. So a really good bottle of red wine yeah. that gets better as it ages. I was born in a very good year, 61. Oh. oh. Great vintage. Yeah. I take that as a great compliment. Thank you for your kind words. You're most welcome. Is it me to throw a dart? <laughs> oh. um, have you ever danced on a table at a wedding? I don't dance. Yes. You don't dance? Okay. So the answer is no. I've never danced in my life. <laughs> okay. Never had a dance. Okay. And I'm too old to start. No, sir. No, no, no. Not That's too old. That was a nice, easy question, that one, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't do weddings neither. Okay. There you are. No weddings, no dance. I've done three <laughs> and never again. Okay. <laughs> there we are. Who's uh, there? you are. Who's Dance on a table you at a wedding. Absolutely. Yeah, of course. You're What's following up me. You don't dance on a table in a wedding, man. You, you, follow, you followed me. <laughs> the ghost and dance on a wedding. You've got to throw another one. You can't have the same question as me. No, our parents even encourage us to dance on tables during weddings because the kids become more visible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. We'll take one last round of this dart. Sure. Share with us. Please go for it. Yeah. yeah please. Oh. That's it. I'm done. Karma. <laughs> no, you can try one more time. I regretted an investment. 
Suddenly, food went into his stomach, and he was a different man again. We had dinner. I'm like, okay. <laughs> He's like, did you forget what you just did to me? I said, yeah. Let's move on. He's like, I cannot. I'm scarred life for life. <laughs> See, that's a good therapist for you. Yeah. Oh, he was. He's a very good therapist. Yeah, good there you are. Calmed him down. Yeah. Okay. Who is most likely to call for a pizza at any time of the day? I think you. I live in New York, yeah, so that's a just. Let's point the finger this way every time. <laughs> no, but the thing is, I don't need, I don't need flour. So you will have so much fun tomorrow. <laughs> oh. All right, we're not pointed to you. Well, then. then you're not having pizza, are you? Yeah, but we still order a lot. For hey, that's right. You could be ordering them to somebody else. You're right. <laughs> Who is most likely to stress eat? Stress eat means when you're stressed, you keep eating. In your emotions. Everybody. Oh, I don't do that. I don't. You don't? When I'm stressed, I just stop eating. Okay. I stress. Yeah, I go. I'm a hunger strike. I starve myself. Yeah. Same. But the fast food that you all love to eat. Oh. I am. I'm in love with Indian street food. If you consider that fast food, I would say Indian street food for me is really. I think that's a very intelligent yeah. answer. Yeah. Yeah. Because they were expecting KFC. No, I'm not going to talk about American food. Exactly. Domino's. Absolutely not. I, I think the mushroom bar. Indian street food is some of the best in the no. world. Street yes. street, in the street food. And they cook delicious food because if they didn't cook delicious food, they wouldn't be in business. Absolutely. And they, are, they understand right. economics, they understand hard work, they also understand how everybody needs freshness and textures and flavors and temperatures are perfect. The smell is amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There you are. Pav bhaji, I think. Pav bhaji. Pav bhaji is the ultimate fast food, food of Mumbai. And I live in, I live right on the beach, so for me it's just. Oh. Oh, I live on East Street, but nothing is allowed. You're going to get mobbed, <laughs> you're gonna get mobbed even more now, you tell them where you live. Uh, <laughs> they'll, be, uh, they'll be camping outside your house. It's a long beach, so. Yeah, you won't be hard to find, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> I would say street food as well. I love safe puri, puri. That's my go-to. Gotcha. So I'm think? going street food. I think that's right. And I think those people, they work with their hands and they make something delicious. So they give back to the community. Absolutely. For a little bit back. They unite the cities. Yeah, I think I think it's admirable. Absolutely. India me jo khana banate hain hamare ghar me ya phir bahar, unhe hum Maharaj ke naam se pukarte hain. So, any specific reason why we do that? Hmm? Any specific? I didn't know the name. Is I don't. The answer is the name. In the name. He is the king of the In house, the, the person who cooks. Traditionally, according to our Vedas, is the king of the house, yeah. right? The word Rasoi comes from Raswati, the home of the Rasas. Mm. The king of the Rasas is called the Maharaj. Okay. So, so he's a, supposed to be the one who so basically is nice responsible for the family's uh, samruddhi. Samruddhi bolte na? <laughs> yeah, for the family's prosperity. The prosperity starts in an Indian kitchen. So the king of the kitchen is called Maharaj because he's responsible for the family's prosperity. That's a cool name. Yeah. But also healer. I think I've heard people called Maharaj. My grandmother used to say they are called Maharaj because oh, they are the healers. Good. Because kitchen is actually an expression of medicine. Was the question? The jealous of a co-judge? No. That's what you stuck. I think you said being jealous of a co-judge. No. That no. blue dart you just threw into there. <laughs> yeah. You've never been jealous of a co-judge. No. no. So have you been jealous of him? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> There's no jealousy, just envy. <laughs> no jealousy, just envy. Just love. Yes, yeah, exactly. And a bit of love and lots of emotion. Yeah. No, we've been we've been together long enough. You're a good-looking bunch, actually. Well, thank you. Oh, thank you. Very really glamorous. Yeah. Well, thank you, Michael. Okay, so right, there's no darts left, so. <laughs> Thank, thank you, you so thank much, you so Pink Willow. But it's, it's interesting how we all throw to that sort of bottom left-hand well, corner. Well, I threw there. I threw there. There's a reason for that. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Because we're right-handed. No, because when we're throwing darts, we're always thinking that it might hit somewhere. When you focus on job, you always scared. I was aiming at the cameraman. Handsome <laughs> oh. <laughs> boys. Let's go! Pink Villa. Look no further.